Hello fellow beekeepers, thanks very much for watching our video. What we are going to show you will change your life because it gives you the tool that you really need to stop varroas being a serious problem. As you can see from the photographs, at the ends of the varroa's legs are hairs. These manage to move over the bee's body but not to hold on tightly. This is how we are able to get rid of them. This entry vent has a brush on the inside which allows the bee to get through stress-free but brushes off the varroa which is on the bee's chest. The varroa falls through the grill into the tray below and there it dies. Many beekeepers have said that it is all very well to kill the varroa but is it worth installing the anti-varroa entry vent in their beehives? Before going into more detail it's important to remember two important things about the varroa's behaviour. One, the varroa population doubles every month. Two, when a beehive gets up to 4,000 varroas, it is sentenced to death. If you look at these graphs, you will be able to observe the changes in the varroa population inside a beehive in three different situations. The green line shows how they develop in ideal circumstances. At the end of the bee season, there will be 2,700 varroas in the beehive. It's a high number, but doesn't threaten the survival of the hive. The blue line shows a more realistic curve than the previous one. In this one, you see the effect of the varroa reinfestation away from the hive. As you know, pillaging, drifting of worker bees and the movement of the drones causes reinfestations. In this simulation, 20 varroas were added on day 60 and another 20 on day 90. This reinfestation means that the hive has 4,000 varroas at the end of the bee season, which causes it to die. However, the grey line shows the varroa population in a hive with the entry vent. At the end of the bee season, there are only 1,300 varroas. This is possible because the entry vent does two things. One, it doesn't allow reinfestations. The varroas who try to get in are brushed off in the vent. Two, the entry vent eliminates part of the phoretic varroa. With these two effects, the quantity of varroas in the beehive is lowered considerably and at the end of the bee season, the hive is not in danger of dying. In addition to having a lower level of infestation, it will be more healthy and produce more honey. In the following images sent by our clients, you can see how the vent works to trap large numbers of varroas. In the photo on the right, our client decided to take away the tray underneath and leave the varroas to fall on the ground. So this is everything we wanted to show you. Thanks very much for watching. We will be very happy to talk to you via the website or from the number you see on the screen. All the best to you.